<laughs> Oops. What are we doing? Okay. All right. Well, Crossroads, we're pleased to tell you your wait is over. Wow. I didn't think I'd get so emotional, but... Um, so your pastor nominating committee is pleased to tell you that after 14 months and almost 220 ex pastors examined, uh, that we have unanimously voted a candidate to be nominated to the senior pastor and head of staff at Crossroads Presbyterian Church. So thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we are very proud of our candidate. We're also very humbled by God and how God has been with us every step of the way. And we also are very appreciative of how you have been with us every step of the way. We have seen and felt the prayers, the support, the food, um, all the different elements that we've seen during these past 14 months have been phenomenal, and uh, we couldn't ask for a better congregation to represent and a better church to talk about when we had the opportunity to talk to candidates. It's, it's, my favorite thing to do is to talk about Crossroads, and it's been a phenomenal journey for us, so thank you for that. Um, we're going to hear, hear a little bit more about our candidate here in just a minute. Um, I, they have a, 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 some outstanding qualities, some fantastic qualities. One of the things that I will say is that our candidate has done as much homework on Crossroads as we have done on them. And is not only very ready to be here, they're very excited to be here. And we're very excited to welcome them to our church family. One other thing I'm gonna tell you is that after you approve our candidate and vote them in, that our candidate, she, will become the first female head of staff in the history of this church. So with that, uh, we'd like to tell you a little bit about the candidate. You'll be hearing a lot more over the next few weeks, and then uh, tell you a little bit about next steps. So to talk about our candidate a little bit is my PNC colleague, Mr. Jeff Kriegel, who's over here. Thanks so much, Dave, and good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Jeff Kriegel, and I'd love to be able to stand up here and tell you everything that we know about this candidate. We think she's fantastic, and we can't wait for you all to be as excited about her as we are. Uh, unfortunately, at this point in time, there is still a need for anonymity. Heidi will talk a little bit more about that in a moment and why that's still important. But I will be able to share at least <clears throat> a few of the qualities that Dave had mentioned. I, I don't think that I'd get emotional either. You started it off. Thanks. Um, uh, I'll give you a little bit of a teaser, and obviously there's going to be more to come as, as time moves on here. I'm going to start from more of a resume perspective, I guess. Our candidate comes to us with excellent credentials. Uh, she graduated from Princeton Theological Seminary with honors in terms of her preaching, uh, her theology, and pastoral ministry. Um, she subsequently went on to become selected to be able to serve in a two-year uh, prestigious residency program. She spent the last nine years serving a large PCUSA church um, and time most recently as head of staff of that church as their own congregation has gone through their pastoral transitions as well. Uh, she has a strong, um, engaging theological perspective. Her preaching is fantastic. Uh, we listen to a lot of sermons, 220 candidates, a lot of sermons. I can honestly tell you that this candidate reached each of us, probably in different ways, but reached each of us with the way that she spoke the word. Um, her sermons are deep in uh, biblical content, uh, reflect the Reformed theology. She's got a deep, mature faith, um, and we're just really excited for you to meet her. Uh, as you all know, um, Crossroads has a pretty wide and diverse set of views and beliefs, theologically and, and otherwise. And not every candidate can effectively and lovingly lead a church like that, a church like ours. And one of the, the great things about this candidate is that she's going to thrive in that kind of environment. She has the temperament. She has the compassion. She has the experience to be able to bring us all together and to connect to each of us, no matter where we are across that spectrum. So from a resume perspective, maybe that's all I'll tell you at this point. Um, as important as all that, you know, obviously we wanted to have a highly qualified candidate, and we feel blessed that we have that. But even more important in a lot of aspects is we wanted someone with the right 
personality, uh, character, and fit. And I think we can all say unanimously that this candidate shines even brighter from those perspectives than she does in her resume. So um, we're all thrilled that she's going to be coming here. Um, every PNC meeting and all the time in between, we've prayed over and over again that God would make it abundantly clear who he wanted to be called to crossroads. And I can honestly say that we all feel deeply that uh, those prayers were answered. So with that, I'll hand it over to Heidi in terms of timing. Thank you. So uh, my name is Heidi Irvin Rowley, and I uh, just have the pleasure of talking a little bit about next steps. So um, the candidate weekend will be June 29th and 30th. Um, so on June 29th and 30th, the candidate will be here. Shortly before that, you will be receiving in the mail a brochure about the candidate that will include her name <laughs> um, and also information about her education, her background, her experience, her qualifications, um, and information about her family as well. Um, it's really, really important that we keep that information confidential even once the brochure is mailed out. Um, it is a really high priority for our candidate that she leaves her current congregation well, which speaks to her character for sure, and we as a community certainly want to welcome her well, um, too. So as a usual, um, in, at this point of the process, her congregation does not know um, that she will be leaving. So um, that's why it's so important that we keep that information confidential. Once she is voted in here, then she will let her congregation know. So again, you will get the information ahead of that weekend, but we'll need to keep that confidential. Um, on the weekend of the 29th and the 30th, we will have, uh, during the day, there's a session and deacon training. So she will come to the session and deacon training to meet with the sessions um, and deacons. And then on the uh, late afternoon or evening of Saturday, June 29th, um, there will be an all-church event um, so that you all can begin to get to know her a little bit. Uh, Hindi Steck has graciously agreed to coordinate that event, so if you are interested and able to help planning, uh, help with planning and coordination, uh, talk to Hindi. That would be great. Um, and then on Sunday, June 30th, uh, the candidate will preach here. Um, she will preside over a baptism, um, which is super exciting. And then after the service, we will have a congregational meeting for the purposes of voting um, on the candidate. Uh, assuming all goes well, on September 15th, our new senior pastor and head of staff will begin her ministry here at Crossroads. So um, I just can't wait <laughs> for you guys to meet her because she's fantastic. Uh, again, on behalf of the PNC, I just want to thank everybody for your faithfulness um, and your prayers and your support during this process. We have certainly um, felt it, and, and most of all, obviously, just uh, we praise God for God's faithfulness and guidance through this process. So thank you all very much.